head to DS9 as soon as you're able.
Please, we're low on fuel and supplies. We need help badly. Tell the Ambassador that any Jem'Hadar aggression will be met with deadly force. This is Station Control. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Your docking clearance has been authorized. Several of our docking facilities were damaged in the recent conflict. Please proceed to the provided coordinates. Also, Captain Nog is waiting to meet with you on the promenade at your earliest convenience. Enjoy your stay here at the station. Hello. Nice to be working with you again. I've been assigned to assist you here on the station. The leaders of the four major delegations have asked to meet with you prior to the summit meeting. Their offices are located here on the promenade. Admiral Quinn's office is behind those doors. The results of this summit could have long-lasting effects. A number of our allies, particularly the Klingons, consider the Herc to be a Dominion problem. The Federation sees this as a chance to improve relations with the Dominion. Having allies in the Gamma Quadrant instead of enemies would be a great step toward galactic peace. Here is Proconsul Deton's office. This summit may be difficult. While your people will see a path toward peace, I suspect the Klingons will feel the opposite. There is no love lost between them and the Dominion, or the Herc for that matter. The Republic position is one of pragmatism. A weakened Dominion will be easier to deal with, and the Herc are a threat no one can ignore. Chancellor Jempok has an office here. This summit may not end well. Most of the High Council sees the Herc as a Dominion problem. They are content to let them fight to the end and deal with any survivors. But there are others, such as Martok, who see that position as dishonorable. If they want to fight the war of their ancestors, so be it. But they will be doing so without the Empire. The same could be said for your Federation, should they choose to aid the Dominion. Nice to see some fighters around here. You're here to fight the Herc, aren't you? Someone has to. Or they eat everything in existence. Some of the other Gamma refugees will moan and groan about this part of space, but I like the Alpha Quad. The Jorans are processing Iridium ore here again, and there's good, honest work for people willing to do it, like me. Most of the Bajorans won't go near the processing areas. Too many bad memories about how the Cardassians ran them, I guess. That's good and well, just means more work for me. Pete's working for the Dominion, I can tell you that much. I might never go back.
Ambassador Odo is here, coordinating security efforts. I'll be blunt. The Herc have decimated most of the Dominion. All but one fleet, gone. It's all the Jem'Hadar can do to keep our remaining worlds from being laid waste. There is no diplomacy with the Herc. We don't know why they're attacking. We're not even sure where they're coming from. I'm sure there are those in the Alliance who would be content to let the Herc destroy us. But where do you think they'll turn once they're finished? There are several Alpha Quadrant leaders here for the summit. Kai Kira of Bajor, Counselor Garrick of Cardassia, and my father, Ferengi Grand Nagus Ron. I recommend meeting with them as well. Their worlds will be on the front line if the Herc launch a full invasion into this quadrant. I believe the Kai is here. My father is in my uncle's bar. Hard to believe he used to work there, huh? <laughs> I was wondering when you'd come along. I'm guessing you're here to talk about the Herc and what we want to do about them. It's no secret that the Ferengi aren't a military powerhouse like the Klingons. Most of the time, we'd be happy to make a tidy profit from all of this and as far away from it as possible. But that changed when the Herc attacked Ferenginar. We would have been wiped out without help. And we didn't get it from Starfleet or the Klingons. We got it from the Lucari and the Cardassians. Even a few not cool ships showed up to fight. That showed us that this is everyone's fight, big or small. So we're in. And if the 34th rule of acquisition comes into play, it wasn't easy, believe me. I've managed to get the board of liquidators with us for now. Most of them see the potential for incredible profit. Alliance defense contracts can be very lucrative. The rest, well, let's just say their self-preservation instincts are strong. They'd rather fight with the Alliance than stand alone. The Herc have me thinking about adding a new rule of acquisition. If they can't be bought, get ready to fight! Did you have another question? Looks like Counselor Garrick is in his old tailor shop. Huh. Hello there. I take it you're not here to update your ensemble. Though if you'd like a few suggestions, I'd be happy to provide some. In the meantime, let's talk about serious business, shall we? I'm sure you'd like to know Cardassia's position on the Herc problem. It's simple, really. They're a menace and one we should deal with swiftly. Surprised? Oh, don't be. Cardassia was recently attacked by the Herc. We'd have fared poorly without help from our neighbors. Even the Lucari and the Ferengi offered their help. I trust this lesson isn't lost on you. If we stand alone, we are doomed. Once upon a time, when I was but a tailor, that was before plain, simple Garrick became a member of the Ditapa Council, of course. Before the Reconstruction and the Iconian War and the Herc. While I'm proud of the work I've done for Cardassia over the years, there's a part of me that yearns to be here once more. To be just a tailor, just Garrick. Will there be anything else? 